Oh, no, it's happened again. Tesla has been hacked. Sell your cars, sell your stock. No, not really. Don't believe the hype, clickbait and sensationalism. Let's filter out the BS, avoid the FUD and talk about the facts. Alright, so everybody's freaking out about the news that Tesla's apparently been hacked. Let's look at the facts and what's actually happened here. So let's look at the headlines first. As soon as you open Google and you type Tesla hack news, the first things that pop up are car and driver, threat post and electric, all talking about the Model X having been hacked. Starting out with the threat post article, they say Tesla hacked and stolen again using key fob. Wow, that sounds terrible. Let's see how many times stolen is mentioned in this article. Oh, look at that. One time in the title and never again. What a surprise. And the sub headline says, Belgian researchers demonstrate third attack on the car manufacturer's keyless entry system, this time to break into a Model X within minutes. So, have we been hacked? And the car's been stolen? Or did a research firm do this? Alright, on to the next one. Car and Driver says, Tesla Model X has flaw allowing it to be hacked and stolen. A little less ominous, but sounds pretty serious too. A Belgian researcher has figured out how to clone the EV's key with about $300 in equipment, but he's shared the information with Tesla and a fix is coming. Okay, so not that bad then. Electric says, Tesla Model X gets hacked through new relay attack. Tesla says it is pushing a patch. A little more of a reasonable description here. Let's scroll down and see what they say. A hacker managed to develop a new key cloning relay attack for Tesla vehicles and demonstrated it on a Tesla Model X. So was it a hacker or was it a research firm? I guess you can argue it was both, but it's definitely not as ominous as it seems. Okay, whatever. Let's get down to the actual details here. The hack or exploit was found by researchers, specifically Kozik researchers. And on November 23rd, they tweeted, We did it again. We hacked the Tesla Model X. In less than two minutes, we can create our own key fob and drive away with your shiny car. All the building blocks are secure, but there are quite some implementation weaknesses. Not the first time this happens. So who is Kozik? Kozik provides a broad expertise in digital security and strives for innovative security solutions. So who they actually are is the research group Kozik at the Ku Leuven University. And COSIC stands for Computer Security and Industrial Cryptography Group. They're at this university, which you'll find in Belgium. So they figured out an exploit allowing you to gain access to and even start a Model X, and only a Model X. Let's talk a bit about how this exploit actually works. What you'll need is the following. A spare Model X key fob, a spare Model X BCM or body control module, a Raspberry Pi or some other portable PC connected to your cell phone, including a power converter and a battery system. You'll also need physical access to the Tesla Model X to gain access to the VIN number, and you need to somehow get to close proximity with the vehicle owner and their key fob. Close proximity means around 15 meters, or for those still stuck in the imperial age, about 49.2126 feet, 77.7 .7 average sized male hands, or around 15 one meter high washing machines if you lay it on its side. However you sickos measure stuff. And here's what you do with these things. First, you go to the Model X and get the last five digits of the VIN. Then you add that to your code. Then you find the owner with their key fob. Spoof a low frequency radio signal using your Model X BCM. You send this frequency to the owner's key fob. Rewrite the owner's key fob firmware, and with the new firmware, get the current key fob to generate the unlock code for the vehicle. This code is then sent to your Model X BCM. Now it's important to know, this only gives you access to unlock the vehicle, but you actually can't drive it yet. In order to drive it, you need to be inside the Model X. Connect a computer or Raspberry Pi to the car's connectivity port under the dash.
You then pair the Model X's original BCM with your spare key fob. And after all that, voila, you drive off with your brand new Model X. And probably a warrant for your arrest, because all Teslas have GPS and cameras all over, so chances are you'll be caught within a few hours. Oh, and by the way, these are researchers, so they absolutely didn't share any of the code that you need, or any of the steps that you need to take, in detail. So good luck to whoever wants to try this in the real world. It's not going to be easy. The person who found this exploit is Leonard Voters, and Leonard was quoted saying, Teslas are cool cars, so they're interesting to work on. But I think if I spent as much time looking at other brands, I would probably find similar issues. He also says, unlike many other automakers, Tesla has the ability to push out over-the-air software patches rather than requiring drivers to bring their key fobs to a dealer to be updated or replaced. That's the upside of treating cars like personal computers. Even when that update mechanism turned out to be a hackable vulnerability, it also offers Tesla owners a lifeline to fix the problem. And that's exactly what will happen. Tesla has confirmed that they'll fix this exploit in the upcoming 2020.48 software update. So will someone hack your Tesla and drive off with it? Unlikely. All joking aside though, kudos to the research team on finding the exploit and reporting it to Tesla. With security and safety being the top priority for Tesla, they're famous for calling hackers to try and find exploits in their vehicles, and Tesla even pays them. Tesla is a frequent partner at the annual Pawn to Own conference. They've in the past offered prizes between 500k and a million dollars, as well as giving away free Tesla Model 3s to people who can break into their software. So don't worry, your Tesla is safe and will probably be even safer with the next software update. Ignore the sensational headlines and park your car in peace. Last thing from me, I know over 94% of you are not subscribed. I see you. I'm not saying I'm mad. I'm just disappointed. That's it from me. And as always, see you guys next time.